inquiring minds want to know, was it a 12-point buck or a 12-pound doe? Man, it was the biggest, fastest deer I've ever caught in my life. You know, this thing, you know, Bobby, do you know how fast you got to be to catch a deer with your bare hands? Well, I'm talking about with your bare hands, man. I'm not talking about going out here and shooting this thing, putting it down. Barehanded, man. I'm fast. I mean, you know, maybe not as fast as Muhammad Ali, but I'm getting close. I'm working on it every day. That's why we're out there catching deer. If, if Hagen said he wrestled down a 12-point deer, well, then he did. I was getting uh, ready to fight, but, you know, you get in that fight-or-flight syndrome. And, you know, you got to turn around and, and the mama deer's coming after you, you know, and she wants that baby deer back. You just, you got to get ready to, to throw down. You know? I chased down an alligator, took him to his knees, broke his jaw back, and then skinned him. The proof's in the trailer. My cowboy boots. Alligator have knees? This is my story, not yours. I'm going to go back there. And since we don't have a deer on the property here, I'm just going to try to emulate, you know, the deer in motion. And oh, I want yeah. you to show me the steps you took to apprehend this deer. You ready for this? Okay. Can you handle this? I, I know. Be gentle on me now. <laughs> I'm an old man. I'm a grandpa. You're a grandpa. Yeah, I'm a grandpa. So what, All right. We start, All are you going to start running? Yeah. Do now, I, don't come I, on me like no, that, that cheetah no, no, on do that. Do I got to get out like... like just, just well. Do I give you a head start or? Yeah, give me a head start like the deer, like and I'm going. Yeah, yeah, I'm running. I'm ready to mow you over, right? So yeah. You're pissing yourself. Guys. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, now the biggest thing that you got to do when you catch them thing, you go over there and you push them down. That's what you got to do. You got to push them down. That way they, they get knocked off balance, and you can run up there and grab them, and catch them. But man, you still got to be quick. I'm telling you, you just got to be. You just come up and. And, and, and grab him <laughs> like that? Yeah. Is that how you do no, it? you push him down get him off balance. Oh, you know? oh. But you're in a dead sprint anyway, yeah. so. And I'm running. Get no groundhog holes out there. And, and, and the headlock thing and all that, yeah. that kind of. Yeah, you just knock them off balance, man, scoop them up, and then they, you got them. You got them. You just got to be quick. Be, like, try to be as quick as you are on the tree, man. So now that you've caught a deer, what's your next logical step up? John oh, Forrest said, you know, we went and asked John Forrest if you, if you actually caught a deer. He, he said, said he caught a crocodile, man. Yeah, he said he caught an alligator and skinned him. Yeah, he said you didn't believe me. Showed him your cowboy boots over there, man. So I guess believe him after that, huh? The white and brownish black gator. It's called the albino. I wrestled it to the ground, took the left foot. This is proof. Isn't that a left foot boot? <laughs> wrestled him to the right, and that's a right foot boot. And, and I, he didn't suffer because I love animals. I gotta put shoes on my kids and on myself. And that's why that alligator. So if Hagen said he can do it, I believe him because I did it, and here's my proof. Yeah. So, so you got <laughs> alligators on your property? Yeah, uh, no alligators, man. But we, we were thinking about growing some of them over there. You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we start an alligator farm if this cow stuff don't work out. Yeah. You know what? I'm pretty sure the only way that Matt Hagen has caught a deer with his bare hands was holding on to the wheel of that nitro funny car. You know, I think you're right, Clay. That would be probably be the only way that he could possibly do that. Other than that, I don't think he caught a deer with his bare hands. I Unless one, either. it was sick, it was shot, or it was dead. I would say that would be my assessment also. <laughs> well, have you heard the whole story? He was PO'd because he had this calf that was in the mud, and he had to go out there, and he kept hitting it, but it wouldn't get out. It's a long story, and he was pulling. Apparently, there's a tool called a calf puller. I thought that was something that you did when you were working out in the gym to the back lower part of your leg, but you put it on a cow's hind extremities, hook the calf in there, and help it come out of the back door of the cow. That guy's got stories that are so crazy, and then you find out they're all true. You're the man, man. I believe him. I believe. You ever see the hands on that boy? You ever see him in some overalls? That joker is like Conan driving a funny car. I, I wouldn't mess with him either. I wouldn't mess with my head. He's probably the only one in the ranks of uh, NHRA out here that tried to. With cowboy boots on. <laughs> my, my Air Jordans, I left them at home, and if I'd have had them, I might have caught two deer that morning, you know what I mean? Just just had the cowboy boots on, man, you got them things hiked up. We was running through the high cotton, well, not cotton, but uh, <laughs> high hay out there, man, trying to catch him things. And, you know, we just, uh, just, just got lucky and got him. But I, I think it's because I'm so quick. I'm getting there, you know. Could you, could you catch a deer in those cowboy boots? No, I could catch a few, probably Wranglers, but no deer. <laughs>
<laughs> man, you know, you never know about them old deer, man. They break nasty on you. You ever seen a attack of the wild or whatever? You know, you get them deer up here and they start beating you up. We just try not to do that, but uh, you know, I was ready for it if she was, man. I was, I was going to throw down. I was, was going to get my pocket knife out and we was going to go to town. I tell you, those deer are really gangster, man. Yeah, they're bad, man. Bad around home. Lots of deer. I tell you. Everybody be careful when you're in the neighborhood and you see them deer out, man. They're not as friendly as you think. They're tough deer, man, so just watch yourself. See these funny car guys. They're a real special breed, real tough. Bar fight, deer fight in a heartbeat. Bobby Bennett reporting for CompetitionPlus.tv. My wife was around. The only reason we got the picture was uh, my, my two kids. They were uh, they were just leaving the field. My, my boy had been riding a tractor, and he was ready to get off of it. So my wife came out there and picked him up. And usually I don't have somebody to take a picture, but she she happened to be there when I when I caught it, and we got a picture, and it all worked out. You know, it's uh, it's one of those deals where it's cool for the kids. It was cool for my wife, and uh, you know I had fun doing it.